Hi, how are you? Let me start by asking you the question, how did you just listen? It's a fairly simple question, uh, and yet I wanted to ask the upcoming 10 minutes about it, on the implications. Um, how did you listen? Did you like it, or did you not? We're still thinking on the speakers we just heard before. Or are you already looking forward to the upcoming break? Was your neighbor irritating you or did you listen to the sound here uh, of the rain on the, on the roof? It's quite an interesting concept to think about, um, did I like what I just listened to? If you said yes, then I have to congratulate you. You just confirmed your own beliefs. Because why do I like certain kind of music? You have experiences which build up to, okay, I like this. I think music could also be something else. And um, we could also think about did you just enjoy being here all together with the crew, with each other, with me as an artist on stage, enjoying that we all have one goal, listening to music. So in this sense, we're all connected. I believe that from music we can learn uh, a couple of basic concepts which connects us on an individual, on the individual level as a group, but also to us as a community and society. I think music has the magical ability to connect them all. And it all starts with listening. So, as a performer and improviser, I often perform with a group. So, I need to be able to get this group together. I'll be improvising, and the improvisation asks that I bring something to this group. But it also demands of me that I listen. What do the other people, other members in the group bring? They share a gift, and this gift I have to accept as a truth. Because I can play the best solo ever, but if the drummer is somewhere else, our music is just crap. So we have, as a group, we have the shared belief that we want to present to you the best music we can. And from it, it shapes our collective goal and it gives ourselves freedom to interact with each other, to have this shared set of beliefs, um, to try and experiment new things and accept what each other is giving us. What's interesting is I need to change what I bring to the table, not like I'm an individual, I'll be performing the best I can, but at the same time I need to take care of the other members of the group. And maybe taking care of other members of the group does also imply that I need to really listen. I need to really listen what they need, 
how to sound great. And maybe I also need to think about what do they need besides musically uh, in order to be able to perform. So I'm not only contributing as an individual, but I'm also contributing to the group, listening without judgment, with an open mindset. But I also have to contribute to their community. If something happened in a personal level, it means I have to take some kind of response, responsibility or shared responsibility in order to be able to uh, share the best possible music we can. So how do we learn how to listen? Um, when you start creating music, uh, normally you start by looking for a teacher. Or now, nowadays you can also just download all the information on the internet. And especially for young children, it's, it's great. Because they can absorb and download all this information and without questions asked. And they can process um, lots of data. But at a certain time, as you get older, often it's the case, mm, why do I need to learn this? I do not want to learn this. Or maybe you're afraid to do something which is kind of odd, but maybe it's necessary for you to take the next step. And this kind of fear is logical as you perceive creating music as a reflection of yourself. It's a constant mirror which is challenging your physical abilities. I need to perform with my hands. It's on my body. I need to make sure it does exactly what is needed. Um, but I also constantly need to learn. So I have to adapt who I am now to a future self in order to get to this next point. And that's quite challenging. And I can understand the next step, which is often not taking, but really important, and it gets a bit vague, I have to uh, uh, inform you. But it's about transcending. Transcending to not only downloading the information, or acknowledging you don't want this, or maybe that's not what I like, but viewing yourself as a system of I can feel and what do I need in order to grow. And if you get to this stage, you can really view yourself as a, with an open mind. And this open mind is necessary to really listen. So how many of you at one point in their life wanted to learn an instrument. Okay? And how many of you succeeded? Okay. It's fair to say it's not so easy to come from point A to point B. Because normally we just want to learn and we have our set of belief and we think, oh, I want this. But instead there's this mirror and it says, no, you need to take something, you need to change yourself. You need to listen what you need to do to get to this other point. And there is also where some basic concepts which lie within music apply to us as a society. Not only as an, on an individual level or on ourselves as a group within the band which needs to take care of their surroundings and community. But we also have a society in which, um, how to say it properly, I think we're currently, if, if you look to the climate crisis, we're shaping collectively a future nobody wants. So we know where we are, we know where we should be, but this route is really difficult. And we're at a uh, transitional period. I think we're in society, we're in a system 
which is based on beliefs from the industrial period, like uh, uh, the economy and also the basic needs, the shared set of belief, which is now the basis of our society, has been driven from this era. But now we need to get to this new future. As we see, some things has, has got to change. And for this, we need to find or redefine a shared set of belief as a society. And where does music come in? I think music is the invitation from you to start listening with an open mindset. So the, what's needed to get to this point of shared belief, a collective need, so to say, would be to invite you all, not to judge, but to try and invite you to share with an open mind, how did I just listen? Okay, we're here all together with one common goal. Enjoy this moment. And I think if we can apply these basic principles in life in general, we uh, have some basic understanding to redefine our shared set of uh, common goals. Um, artists and music in general should be applied for this reason. Because music is actually a language which is unbiased and international. So it has this, uh, the international language to communicate, to be together and experience something which is truly from all of us. And I would like to invite you to view this uh, session and also later today as we're we'll performing with an open mindset. And I hope that you will be um, transcending towards a shared belief. I thank you for listening.